Today we're here for the 1984 NBA Draft, where 99 overall, 6'9 point guard Benny Buckets is about to enter the league. And Benny isn't just going to be any ordinary player, he's going to play throughout all of NBA history. So we're going to start this simulation off in 1984 and go all the way until 2024. I want to see how many championships Benny can win, how many points he can score, how many assists he can dish out, and ultimately how many records he can break throughout his NBA career. But before we get into all of that, we got to find out who's going to pick up Benny in the NBA draft. It looks like it's going to be the Bulls or the Washington Bullets. And it ends up being the Washington Bullets. With the first overall pick in the 1984 NBA Draft, the Washington Bullets select Benny Buckets. Welcome to Washington, Benny. I think we're in for something special. Here's what the squad's looking like for season number one. Benny Buckets' sidekicks are going to be Jeff Ruland and Jeff Malone. Not exactly a great squad, but I have a feeling Benny's going to be able to pick up the slack. Let's get into season number one, Benny's rookie year. Season number one is wrapped, and immediately, Benny Buckets has established himself as the best player in the league. He averaged 30 points, 15 rebounds, 11 assists, over 2 steals a night, and 4 blocks. He also shot a ridiculous 61% from the field and about 40% from three. And of course, he won Rookie of the Year. Benny also won DPOY. And he even led the Washington Bullets, who were in the draft lottery last summer, to the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. And in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan. Mike is a legend, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if he has what it takes to take down Benny Buckets. Yep, MJ and the Bulls ended up getting swept. Next up, it's going to be the Boston Celtics. This is definitely a tougher opponent. They've got Larry Legendary, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Dennis Johnson, quite a few Hall of Famers. Game one of the series will go to us. We also take game two. Oh my goodness. Benny might just dominate the league. He's already in the conference finals. No losses so far. Next up, it's going to be the Sixers, who managed to draft Hakeem Olajuwon in this NBA universe. That's absolutely ridiculous. Hakeem alongside Moses Malone, Dr. J, and Mo Cheeks. Yeah, we might have some trouble here. Game one will go to Philadelphia. They also take game two. Uh-oh, Benny. We are down three to zero right now. Benny Buckets and the Bullets will take one game. They're going to take two games. All right, Benny. This will be legendary. Pulling off a three to zero comeback in your rookie season. We've never seen something like that before. And it looks like Benny is going to manage to force a game seven, 30, 17, and nine in what has been an incredible playoff run. Oh my goodness. 36, 15, and 10 so far. And now we just need one more win to complete this three to zero comeback and it looks like we might just get that in game seven yeah this game is done with we get the dub and we're moving on to the nba finals against the los angeles lakers the lakers usually dominate in the magic and bird era simulation so i know this team is going to be a problem for us especially if philly gave us so much trouble in the last series Game number one is going to go to us. The Lakers will take game two. Lakers also win game three, and we win game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. And in game five, we end up losing despite a triple-double from Benny. What did I tell y'all about the Lakers, man? We are now going to be facing elimination in game six. And it looks like the Los Angeles Lakers will take care of Benny Buckets despite his best efforts. His Washington Bullets lose. Lose, but even in the losing effort, Benny is named Finals MVP. That's how dominant he was. Hopefully this offseason, we can get our guy Benny some help. They did not get Benny any help. I mean, even without help, he got really close to winning the chip last year. So I guess he's just going to have to be super locked in for this season and try and carry this team to the Larry O'Brien. Another season in the books, Benny continues to do his thing, winning MVP once again. He also wins DPOY. I wonder if he'll win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year every season of his career. But anyway, we won 75 games this year, which is absolutely insane. 
in year two, but any buckets got more accustomed to the NBA and just went out there and led his team to a historical season. In round number one, we got Indiana. Man, we're not worried about them. We're not worried about Milwaukee either. We just won 75 games. Now, I will slow it down for Philadelphia because they gave us trouble last year. Hakeem's continuing to get better, so this one might be tough. Game one of the series is gonna go to us. We also take game two. They win game three, but we win game four, and we're gonna make it to the finals pretty easily, beating them in five. Now in the finals, it's time for a rematch against the Lakers. Come on, Benny. We just had a historical regular season. Now it's time to cap it off with an NBA championship. Game one of the series will go to us. Lakers win game two and three and four. Despite our 75 wins, the Lakers might just cook us. We will take game five, but the Lakers win it in six. Benny is once again named finals MVP in a losing effort, but 75 wins and no ring is nuts. Benny, they're starting to say you're a regular season merchant. You gotta lock in. But anyway, help is on the way for Benny Buckets. We picked up Adrian Dantley this summer. He's 30 years old, so still in the midst of his prime. An absolute bucket. This is the type of player we needed. We got rid of our big man, Jeff Rulin, but I think Adrian Dantley is gonna be able to make a bigger impact for our squad. So I'm excited for that addition. I think we should be able to win the chip this year. Three MVPs in three seasons for Benny, and of course he won DPOY as well. This season we did not have the coach of the year though. It was the Los Angeles Lakers coach who won it. We only won 59 games. Last year we won 75. That's kind of a crazy fall off. But in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Cavs. We go ahead and sweep them. Round two, it's going to be Boston. Oh my gosh. Every other year we've made the finals, but this season and we lose in the second round and the Lakers go on to win the chip once again I was kind of scared to do a video like this because I was thinking oh you know Benny Buckets he's just gonna go out there and win every single championship it'll be boring and repetitive but no we're three years in he has zero rings he's really just a 99 overall Chris Paul now this summer we did go out and pick up George the Iceman Gervin he is a little bit old but I think he should be able to help us a lot still scored over 20 points per game last season plus we have Adrian Dantley if you don't get it done this year Benny I, I think this one's on you Benny did it again now this year he only averaged about 26 points per game and I have a feeling that's because we just have the scoring of Adrian Dantley and George Gervin so Benny didn't need to score as much but we did only win 50 games on the season I expected us to win more headed into the playoffs where the two seed round number one it's going to be Milwaukee we sweep them round number two we got Detroit and we also sweep them so we're here in the conference finals where we'll be taking on the one seeded Pacers with Dominique Wilkins and Patrick Ewing that's a good duo I think our big three should be able to get the dub though the Pacers take game one and two we'll win in game three Pacers win game four Benny you're a fraud how are we losing year after year you are a 99 overall just lock in tell all your teammates get out the way and I'm gonna go get a bucket you know and now Adrian Dantley and George Gervin are getting old but don't worry commentary legend Mark Jackson is gonna be here to save the day Benny another MVP Mark Jackson won six man of the year he was kind of out there hooping I can't lie I know I was joking about him earlier but he was getting buckets and a lot of assists also Benny of course won DPOY and this year we won 56 games making us the two seed once again round number one we got the Cleveland Cavaliers oh my gosh we almost lost round two it's gonna be New York we're down two to one we're down three to one we'll win game five and six all right we got a game seven coming up we could pull off a three to zero comeback against a kind of mid New York team with all due respect I don't know how we're losing to some of the teams that we lose to y'all better go out there and get this game seven dub we were up pretty big in this game until the third quarter where the Knicks outscored us 33 to 12 now in the fourth we've got a two-point game with less than a minute to go we gotta jump in it's game seven Davis has the ball at the top of the key he finds Benjamin for the dunk and just like that we are all tied up 50 
51 seconds to go. Benny, this is your time to shine. The ball is going to go into Benny Buckets. Let's see what he's got. He's going to spin. Benny, go into the basket here. He's backing down his man. Oh, you're too small. The layup is good. Big body Benny getting to the basket for the layup. Now, there's still plenty of time left for New York. They've got about 40 seconds to get a bucket, and Bernard King gets fouled. I'm pretty sure Bernard's about to knock these down. First one is cash. Second one for King is also good. So we are all tied up. 40 seconds to go. We might have a little back and forth game going here. All right, here we go. Benny Bucket's going to dump it down. And that's a nice cut by Adrian Danley. We've got a two-point lead once again. Every single time a team scores and then the other team calls timeout. I swear there have been like four timeouts since I hopped into this game. McMillan has it for the Knicks. He's going to find Davis. Davis drives to the basket and he's rejected. Benny's going to secure the board. And we need two free throws from him to make this a two possession game. But I trust Benny to knock these down. First one is money. Second one for Benny Buckets is also good. So now we've got a four point lead. Just don't let him hit a three pointer. Bernard King gonna spin, go to the basket and his shot is off. And that'll do it. We advance to the conference finals. Benny Buckets with 38, 12 and 12. And in the conference finals, it's gonna be Indiana. They took us down last time. It's time to make things right against them this time. Game one of the series will go to Indiana. They also take game two. Oh my gosh, we're cooked. We're going to win a game finally in game four. We're going to take two games. We're going to take three games. Hold on. Can we pull off this 3-0 comeback? Last series, we pulled off a 3-1 comeback. And this series, we might do something even crazier. It's going to come down to the wire against Indiana. We got to jump in. Finals trip on the line here. We're down by six here with a minute to go. We need some stops. Pat Ewing in the post. Ewing drop step. Oh my goodness. He just bodied our center. All right, Benny. I'm going to need you to walk it up the floor and hit a three. There we go. He missed. You're a 99 overall. How are you missing that? And now Indiana grabs the rebound. It's not looking great for us. It's going to go over to Mark Price for the Pacers. Price defended by the much bigger Benny Buckets. Come on, Benny. Get that steal. Good defense so far. Not much time on the shot clock. And Patrick Ewing does it again. That's probably it. We're down by 10. Yeah, we end up losing. Patrick Ewing was dominant on those couple possessions we saw in the clutch. And in this game, he had 38 points. Benny Buckets, 29, 11, and 9. So once again, Benny Buckets goes down in the NBA playoffs. So far, after five years pro, we have yet to see Benny win an NBA championship. Headed into year six for Benny Buckets, the Iceman is starting to get really old. Now, Mark Jackson is getting better, which is good. But we need Benny to go out there and go crazy. We needed him to have another, like, 33 point per game year where he just takes over for the team. Come on, Benny. Why are the points per game dropping? I mean, he still won MVP and still won DPOY. Shout out to Mark Jackson, six man of the year once again. He's a great backup for our guy, Benny Buckets. And this year, we were the one seed with 60 wins. Round number one, we got the Boston Celtics. We take them down in four. Round two, it's going to be New York. We take them down in five. And in the conference finals, it's going to be Mike and the Chicago Bulls. I'm sure MJ wants to prove that he's better than Benny Bucket. After five games, we're up three to two, but they win game six, setting up a winner go home game seven against MJ. And Benny is going to lose again. 16 points. You are a 99 overall. 16 points. And MJ takes down Benny Buckets, winning a championship before Benny. Are you kidding me? And now Adrian Dantley's getting older, so there's going to be even more on Benny's shoulders. If things don't work out this season in Washington, I think Benny should consider free agency. He's on the last year of his contract, and he has yet to win a championship, so maybe a change of scenery would be good. Season is wrapped. Benny Buckets, another MVP and another DPOY, and we won 58 games, so again, we're a top seed. The Pacers were better than us, though. Round number one, we take care of Atlanta. Round two, it's going to be Chicago. We beat them in six. Way to get revenge, Benny. Mike took you down last year, and you were able to get the dub over him this year. Next round, it's going to be Indiana, and we sweep them. So we're finally back in the NBA Finals, taking on, oh my goodness, the Rockets are insane. 
Kevin Johnson, John Stockton, Ralph Sampson, and uh, Carl Malone. Game one of the series goes to them. Yeah, yeah, we might be cooked here. We finally get a win in game three. They take game four, and we lose in five. And this time, Benny Buckets does not win finals MVP in a losing effort. It's Kevin Johnson winning the award. And Benny was okay in these playoffs for his standards. Not great. But now, Benny Buckets is set to hit free agency. After years of no champion chips in Washington maybe it's finally time for him to leave Benny ended up going to the Hawks and over in Atlanta they've got Hershey Hawkins Drazen Petrovic Derek Coleman Vlade Divac they've got some good role players on this team they don't necessarily have a second star but they've got guys that Benny can play off of he can really be the focal point of this team in Atlanta. Let's get to another season and see if a change of scenery was what our guy Benny needed. Season is wrapped and Benny Buckets of course had to win the MVP in DPOY again. And it seems like he had no problem adjusting to a new team in Atlanta as his squad won 60 games and they were the number one seed in the East. He almost lost in round one to the Heat but he's moving on to round two against Detroit and that was a lot easier than the first round. He takes care of the Pistons in five and now Next up, we got the Celtics. They've still got Larry Bird. They've also got Kiki Vandeweghe, but they're not as good as they were early on in Benny's career where they had a crazy squad. Game one of the series will go to us. We also take game two and three, and we're going to sweep them. So now we're in the finals, taking on the Houston Rockets. I feel like this team is going to be a problem for years to come. I don't know how we're going to get past them, to be honest with you. They're up two to zero early. We win game three and four. All right, we have a chance here. We need game five, though. It looks like game five is going to come down to the wire. We got to jump in. Benny Buckets versus a super team in Houston. Right now, we're down by two points, and the Rockets have the ball. Is that Muggsy? Muggsy Bogues has the ball, the five foot three man. Bogues is going to swing it over to Chuck Person. Person over to McCray. McCray going to the basket, swings it back out to Person. Now it goes to Kevin Johnson. Johnson floats one up and misses. Now, where is our guy Benny at? Oh no, Benny fouled out. They're gonna have to win this one without him. Craig Elo gonna give it over to McGee. McGee gets the screen. McGee going to the basket, find some room for the layup. We are all tied up here. We need another stop. Kevin Johnson to the basket for the layup. That was a quick answer for the Houston Rockets. So we're back down by two. Craig Elo has it. Elo going to swing it over to McGee. McGee gets it ripped away. And now the Rockets are running the fast break. Johnson going to go to the basket. Dump it down to Malone. Malone. Oh, he was fouled. First one for Carl is good. Second one for Malone is also good. So we are down by four here. It's not looking good in the absence of Benny Buckets. Craig Elo's gonna get the screen up top. He swings it over to Petrovic for three. Come on, Drazen! All right, we might have a chance. Kevin Johnson bringing up the ball. He's gonna go to the basket. Are you kidding me? The reverse yam in the clutch? That was nuts, bro. I can't lie. So we're down by three points here. I'd like if we got the ball to Petrovic for another three-pointer. We need to find a way to get him some room on the three-point line. There it goes. He's open. Draws him for three. No. That might just do it. Now John Stockton is headed to the foul line. First one for John is good. Second one for John is also good. Maybe if we hit a quick three we have a chance elo gonna miss gee geez i mean it's gonna be tough when your best players fouled out the game especially when you're going up against a team with so much star power and now we're facing elimination in game six we lost carl malone wins finals mvp and benny buckets is still ringless eight seasons in i don't believe that man we do have some guys getting better on our team which is good maybe that'll help us get over the hump and find a way to beat houston another season in the books benny buckets of course had to go out there and win the mvp and this year we won 66 games making us the one seed in the east we beat the nets easily in round one 
Round two, we're having a little bit of trouble against the Heat. We're headed to a game seven. Really? This team's taking us to seven? We gotta get the win in this one. There you go, Benny. We're gonna manage to get the game seven dub, and we are moving on to the conference finals. Only 10 points from Benny Buckets in game seven. But next up, we got the Magic with Patrick Ewing, Buck Williams, Rod Strickland. This is a good team. But we take care of them in five. And in the finals, we got the Lakers. LA still got Magic and Worthy. They've also got Larry. Harry Johnson, Byron Scott, Alonzo Mourning. This one's not going to be easy. I thought we caught a break since we didn't have to face the Rockets this year, but we didn't. This Lakers team is nuts. Game one of the series will go to us. We also take game two and three. Oh, never mind. That was an easy win against the Lakers, and Benny Buckets finally wins an NBA championship. After nine seasons, he did it. It took a 99 overall nine years to win a championship. But hey, he got the job done. Congrats to Benny Buckets. And the supporting cast around Benny is continuing to get better and better. So I think we have a real chance to repeat as champs. Another season in the books, Benny Buckets does manage another MVP, but this was probably the worst stat line of his career so far. He was only a little over 20 points per game. He also ends up winning Defensive Player of the Year, of course. And we won 58 games on the season, making us the one seed in the East once again. But in round number one, we're down 2-1 against Orlando. We lost. After the championship, we lost to the 8th seed. That's tragic, man. And with Benny Buckets on the final year of his contract, if we have another disappointing season, maybe he hits free agency again and looks to join a new team. We'll have to see. Another season in the books. Again, Benny Buckets wins MVP and DPOY. And this year, we only won 49 games. And this wasn't a great season, so maybe he'll look to leave. Round one, we are going to take care of Washington. Benny's former team next up we got Chicago I'm assuming they still have Mike yeah they do and we managed to sweep them next up it's gonna be New Jersey with Gary Payton and Mitch Richmond Gary Payton could lock down our guy Benny okay maybe not we're up three to one they win game five and six don't blow the lead please uh I think we're gonna blow the lead yeah we end up losing in game seven Benny buckets 15 points in game seven and two of ten from the field he's kind of a playoff fraud man i can't lie he folds in some of those big games and now our guy benny buckets is set to hit free agency he's already played for two different teams throughout his nba career let's see if he can make it a third this man has no loyalty he's leaving atlanta he's headed to philadelphia on a four-year contract and over in Philly, they've got Hakeem. Oh, this is about to be a fire duo. I predict that Benny will win four championships in his four seasons with Philadelphia and then leave because he's not loyal. Let's get into it, though. I'm excited. Benny Buckets wins another MVP, this year averaging less than 20 points per game. He also wins DPOY once again. And we won 65 games on the season, making us the one seed. Wherever Benny goes, regular season success follows, but not always always playoff success. I mean, we're 12 years in and he only has one championship. I have a feeling he'll have an opportunity to add to his resume playing alongside Hakeem. Round two, we got the New Jersey Nets. Oh, we just lost. Dang it, man. It was Gary Payton again. Gary Payton might just be Benny's kryptonite. The glove has beat our guy Benny two years in a row, I believe. And now that we're getting pretty far into this video, you might be wondering, how is Benny going to play for all of NBA history? Well, once he starts getting older, I'm going to reset his age back down to 19. And also, I'm going to make sure his years pro are down to one. That way, he doesn't want to retire. Basically, this will allow him to play for a ton of years. In the meantime, though, age is catching up to Hakeem Olajuwon. He regresses by two overalls this offseason down to a 92. Benny's going to have more on his shoulders in this upcoming season. And it seems like when Benny's under pressure, he can't really handle it. He chokes a lot in the playoffs. I need him to prove to us that he can show up in these big moments where his team really needs him. Season is wrapped. Benny Buckets wins MVP and DPOY. We're used to that at this point. And this year, we had our best year in a while. 68 wins on the season. 
Round number one, we got New Jersey. Oh my gosh, Gary, are you about to beat him again? Yo, Gary Payton. The glove is giving this man Benny Buckets nightmares. Now, Gary Payton was trash in this series, but I'm assuming he was locking Benny Buckets down. In game four, he fouled out. They still won. I, I don't know what's going on with you, Benny. Those first couple years in Philly were Benny's best chance to win a chip with this team, too, because now Hakeem's just continuing to get older. At this point, Benny might have to jump over to a new team when his contract is up in two years. Benny did it again. Of course, he won DPOY, too. And we won 64 games, making us the one seed. Does that really matter when we lose in the playoffs every year? Probably not. Round two, we got the Washington Wizards. We actually beat them. And we're in the conference finals taking on the Celtics. They've got a young AI. They've also got Sean Kemp. Not a bad team at all. Game one of the series will go to them. We take game two. They win game three and four. And they'll get us out of here in five. Just regularly scheduled programming for Benny. Another playoff loss. Now, Benny is entering the final year of his contract. I'm assuming he's leaving Philly after this. He hasn't exactly been known as a loyal player throughout this video. Benny did it again. Another MVP. Another DPOY. And this year, we were the three seed, winning 54 games and ending off the season on a nice little six game win streak. Round number one, we got the Charlotte Hornets. We sweep them. Round two, it's going to be Indiana, and we get swept. All right, Benny, I know the drill. Well, time to hit free agency and join a new team and also we're almost at the year 2000 and as we enter a new century it looks like benny buckets is about to join a new team he's gonna head to boston oh never mind he went to the raptors he can never make up his mind on what team he wants to play for and over in toronto the team's pretty good oh they'll actually be really good in a couple years they've got the truth antonio mcdice sam cassell lorenz and Wright, wally zerbiak this is a nice squad and i think that pierce will become a coast star for Benny Buckets in a couple years. Now, Benny ended up joining another Eastern Conference team. I noticed that throughout this entire video, he's only played for squads in the East. Just something interesting to note. And also, if you're watching this far in the video, comment 1999. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel recently. It really does mean a ton to me. We just hit 30,000 subscribers. Now we're already at 31,000. It's ridiculous, man. I'm truly so grateful for this. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get to the end of the season. Oh my goodness. Benny Bucket's MVP streak is over. Shaq broke the streak. I mean, he had a crazy season, 27 and 14. Benny does still win DPOY, but this year he just wasn't scoring the ball that much. I wonder why Benny wasn't scoring like that. Was Sam Cassell scoring a lot? I mean, 15's decent. Paul Pierce only put up 14. Oh, Antonio McDice was averaging over 20 a night. Lorenzen Wright put up over 10 a night. So there were a lot of guys who could score on this team, and Antonio McDice was the big scorer. He led the team in scoring, so. So I guess all of that contributed to Benny scoring dropping and also him not winning MVP. This year we won 53 games, making us the number two seed. And in round number one, we got Indiana. We lost to Indiana in five. We started this simulation off in 1984 and Benny Buckets has won single NBA championship. Not, not two, not three, not seven, one. And what's crazy is we've consistently been a top seeded team. Also, Benny, you were thinking about joining the Celtics. You should have joined the Celtics. You could have teamed up with AI. And they won the championship this year. But even though Benny hasn't won a lot of championships, I do want to see where he stands in terms of the all-time records. Because we started off this video in 1984. We're in the year 2000. We obviously still have a lot more time to go. But I want to see where he's at as of right now. Benny Buckets is third all-time in scoring. Also, he's just broken the entire rest of the list. I don't really know why that happens. But congrats to Benny for earning all these all-time scoring list spots also benny buckets is eighth all time in field goals made 31st in threes made first in free throws made the foul merchant sixth in rebounds second in assists first in blocks and first in steals he's also ninth in minutes and there's still so much time left to go benny is going to be number one at the top of all of those lists by far 
once we get to the end of this video. Benny Buckets is officially washed. KG wins MVP this year. Benny did win DPOY and make first team, but two years in a row, no MVPs. The Raptors were the one seed this season. In round number one, they've got Orlando. They're gonna beat them in five. Round two, it's gonna be the Celtics. It's two to two after four games. Celtics win game five, and they take care of us in six. Man, Benny, you should have gone to Boston. Now, we are starting to see quite a bit of progression from some of the guys on this Celtics team. Yo, this man, Wally Serbiak, has been mewing. The jawline is insane. But yeah, like I was saying, the team is coming together pretty well. Unfortunately, I have a feeling Benny's about to leave them in free agency this summer. We'll see though. Maybe he actually signs a contract extension this time. I doubt it. Also, let me know in the comment section. Do you all like these longer simulations? I'm assuming this video is going to end up being over an hour. Let me know if y'all prefer the super long videos. And if you have any ideas for more really long simulations, let me know in the comment section. I promise I'll stop yapping in a second, but there was a lot of support on the video where I reversed the draft. That's why I kind of wanted to drop another simulation where I went from 1984 all the way until 2024 because it seemed like you guys like the last one anyway that's enough talking for me let's get to the end of the season benny buckets is back another mvp he of course wins dpoy as well and this year the toronto raptors won 56 games led by benny buckets that makes us the three seed round number one we got indiana and we take them down in four round two it's gonna be orlando i mean this orlando team's okay i guess I don't think we have any business losing to them, which of course means we're going to lose to them. 16 points per game. Benny might need to sign with the Guangdong Tigers this summer. Oh man, it looks like Mr. Buckets is going to the Lakers. Never mind, he actually re-signed. That comes as a shock to me. Benny Buckets remaining with his team. He signed a five-year deal too, so he's here for the long haul, playing alongside Paul Pierce, Sam Cassell, and Wally Zerbiak. I feel like Benny and Pierce can be a championship duo. I just need Benny to be more of a dog in the playoffs. It's that simple. It seems like when the lights are the brightest, he completely folds. There we go, Benny, getting back in your scoring bag, averaging a little over 23 points per game. That's the most he's averaged since Philadelphia. He also won DPOY again, and we won 56 games on the season. Please tell me we can at least make the finals. Oh my gosh, we're gonna lose to the eight seed. This might be the worst career from a 99 overall I have ever seen. 17 MVPs. And he only has one NBA championship. He has won 19 Defensive Player of the Years, yet he can't stop an eight seed from beating him. But it's okay, Benny. You got 20 more years to try and turn this thing around. It's not over till it's over. You can still add a ton of championships to your resume and prove me wrong. Jason Kidd wins MVP this year. So no MVP for Benny Buckets. He, of course, wins the DPO why though and we won 59 games on the season making us the one seed round number one we got the Cavs we take care of them in six round two it's gonna be Orlando we beat them in seven so we're moving on to the conference finals our first chance to make the finals in what feels like a long time we got to take down agent zero though and that's never easy game one of the series will go to us game two goes to the Wizards they also win game three we take game four and five and they take game six, meaning that we're headed to a winner go home game seven against the Wizards. It all started in Washington for Benny Buckets, and now he's gonna have to take down this team if he wants to punch his ticket to the finals. And it looks like we've got a close one here. About a minute to go in this one, and we are up by a point. The Wizards have possession of the ball. Aaron McKee has the ball. He's gonna pull a mid range and knock it down right in Benny Buckets' grill. All right, Benny, let's see what you got. He's tired, he's got the gate raid symbol benny buckets barreling his way to the basket he's in heavy traffic gonna swing it to wally zerbiak wally gonna make his move to the basket zerbiak with not much time left on the shot clock gonna fake swing it to benny buckets last second shot is off and we can't secure the rebound now the wizards are moving in transition it's gonna go to christy christy under the basket and there you go that's the dpoy benny buckets getting the stop now we're moving in transition. Down by a point here. We need to score. Mid-range for Benny is off. Horace Grant the rebound. He misses the layup. 
and now we're going to have to foul the Wizards. It's Steven Jackson going to the line. First one for Jackson is good. Second one for Stack is off. All right, we're only down by two. We could take the lead with a three ball. Tie it up with a two-pointer. Collins is going to give it in to Paul Pierce. Pierce at the top of the key here. Are we going to go to him over Benny? Let's see. Pierce going to the basket. He's going to step it back, and he misses. No. That might do it. Joe Smith, please miss one. First one is all net. We have a chance if he misses this second one, and it's all net too. So that will do it. We lose in game seven. We were so... Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. He made that. We lose in game seven by one, even after the full quarter. And now we are eliminated. We were so close to the NBA Finals for the first time in a long time and the Wizards end up beating us. Devastating loss there. Benny Buckets, 21 and 17, is not gonna be enough. He had a good playoff run this year. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get the job done. I mean, we've still got Benny and Paul Pierce, and we were so close to making the finals last year with this core. I feel like if we're just a little bit better, we can make the finals this year. Another season in the books. This time, it's T-Mac winning MVP over Benny, but he's got that DPOY on lock. Every single year that Benny's been in the league, he has won the defensive player of the year award but this season our guy Benny Buckets only made all NBA third team that's weird we won 54 games as a team but the east was crazy so that was only good enough for the five seed in round number one we got the Miami Heat and it looks like we're gonna win we take them down in six round two it's gonna be Washington time to get revenge against this team they beat us in devastating fashion last year we got to beat them this year we're down two to one down three to one Ah, well, we lost him five. Benny Bucket's about 19 PPG in these playoffs. And still only one ring on the resume for our guy. The core is still all together, but the Eastern Conference is insane. So maybe we need to make a trade or something, make a new pickup, because this squad isn't cutting it, I guess. Benny, you're really letting Baron Davis win MVPs over you with all due respect. Benny's named a second team this season, and we won 56 games. The Nets won 71. Well, if we make the conference finals, I know who we're facing facing but we're probably not gonna make it because the wizards are gonna beat us okay maybe not we're coming back we were down three to one now we're headed to a game seven we've got a nice little rivalry going on with washington we face them time and time again and it looks like this time we're finally gonna get the best of them benny buckets at triple double the truth with 31 points and next up we got the miami heat dirk and t-mac that's a crazy duo. I don't know if we can get past them. We're up two to one early. They're gonna win game four and five and six. We're out of here. I don't know what we were supposed to do against the Dirk and T-Mac duo, bro. That, that's a nasty one-two punch. And the Miami Heat are gonna win the championship. And now that Benny's getting a little bit older, I'm gonna reset his age once again. Paul Pierce is up to a 94 overall. He's a bona fide star in this league. Wally Zerbiak is also really good for us. Sam Cassell is getting really old. And also, Benny is entering the final year of his deal. And knowing him, he might just join a new team. But he has been pretty loyal to Toronto for quite some time. And also, I've noticed as the years have been going on, Benny Buckets' minutes have been going down. So I'm going to turn off progressive fatigue so that we can see him out there hooping as much as possible. I, I don't want him to play lower minutes and his numbers to suffer as a result. And also, fatigue being off will benefit other players in the leagues. So it won't just be Benny getting some help. I, I just want him to be out there hooping more. Agent Zero wins MVP. Benny Buckets, another DPOY. He made second team this time, and we won 49 games on the season. Round number one, we got New York. We're down three to two. We win game six, so we're headed to a winner go home game seven. And over in New York, they got Darius Miles, Penny, Tim Thomas. Are you kidding me that we're in a game seven with this team? We lost. Benny Buckets, 13 points. They didn't even have a 90 plus player. We had two and we still found a way to lose. Oh yeah, Benny also did sign an extension with the team. So he's going to be sticking around for quite some time. He's got four more years left on that new deal. And it's been a while since we've checked up on Benny's record. So let's go ahead and see what he's got going on. He's number one in scoring with 43,512 points. Number one in field 
field goals made. He's not really a crazy shooter. He's only 25th on the threes made list. Number one on free throws. Number two in rebounds. Number one in assists, blocks, steals, and minutes. And turnovers. So it looks like Benny has made his way to the top of the record books for the most part. A few more records he needs to work on like the threes, but he's doing pretty well. Benny Buckets is back winning the MVP award. That's what I like to see. I was able to adjust the settings and get his minutes right so he's actually playing star player minutes. For a couple years there, they had him playing like 28 minutes. And this man is way too good to be playing 28 minutes, you know what I mean? And now he is back winning the MVP award, of course. He won the DPOY as well. And we won 57 games on the season. In round number one, we got the New York Knicks. We're up three to two, and we're headed to a game seven. Nothing can be easy for us. This Knicks team did get better since the last time we faced them, but I still think we should be able to take care of them in game seven. Now, granted, Benny Buckets is a known playoff choker, so it might be tough. Okay, looks like we got it, actually. Yep. We're going to win. We're moving on to round number two. There you go, Benny. That's what we like to see. 37, 13, and 12 in the big game. And next up, we got the Wizards. We're taking on Agent Zero, Omari, and Elton Brand. That's a tough squad for sure. It's a 2-2 two two series after four games. We win game five and six. We're in the conference final. All right, man. Next up, it's going to be the Pistons with Peja, Tim Duncan, and CP3. They've also got Chris Kamen. Another really nice squad. We'll see if we can take them down. It's one to one after two games we win game three and four they win game five but we beat them in six finally benny's back in the finals taking on the kings led by king james game one of the series will go to us game two goes to the kings kings win game three and four we take game five and six lebron are you about to blow a three to one? Oh my gosh i think benny's gonna do it benny you did it you won a championship Benny Buckets is an NBA champion for the second time in his NBA career. His career started off in 1984, and it took him until 2008 to win two championships, but he did it. I am ecstatic for our guy Benny, man. I, I thought we would never see the day he won another championship. The squad stuck together, so now we just gotta see if we can go back to back. Okay, Benny, he's starting to turn it up. 30 points per game, 15 rebounds, 13 assists. That's what I like to see from our guy. Another DPOY as well. And we were the four seed this year with 59 wins. That's pretty elite. Definitely puts us in that contender status as we look to repeat. Round number one, we got the Chicago Bulls. And we're headed to a game seven. The Bulls have Melo, Jamal Crawford, and David West. Not a bad team at all. But oh my goodness, they're done for in game seven. We might beat them by 100. Okay, we ended up only beating them by 20. But wow, what a stat line from Benny Buckets. 38, 22, and 17. And now in round two, we've got Washington. We've had our fair share of battles against Agent Zero. And this time, we might just come out on top. We're up three to two, and we're headed to another game seven. Nothing can be easy for us in these playoffs. And it looks like the Washington Wizards are going to get the best of us in this one. Great playoff run from Benny Buckets. He's really starting to get back to playing at that very high level that he was playing at at the very start of his career. And the Wizards go on to win the chip. So if we would have beat them, we could have won the championship. Oh man, Wally Zerbiak regressed by three overalls this offseason season that's not good and on that note i do want to mention that benny buckets can become a free agent in two more off seasons so you got to watch out for that he has been loyal to toronto for about a decade now but i wouldn't be surprised to see him leave and join a new team if things are rough over these next couple years another mvp for benny buckets he also won DPOY, and we won 52 games on the season, making us the 2C. We probably got to watch out for Washington once again. We make it past round one against the Cavs. Oh, Milwaukee might just beat us. We're headed to a game seven against them. They've got Ray Allen and Stephon Marbury. Pretty nice one-two punch in the backcourt for sure, but I think our duo of Pierce and Mr. Buckets is definitely better and it looks like we are going to manage the win 51 19 and 14 that's what i love to see next up we got the washington wizards here we go again agent zero game number one goes to them they also take game two I i'm not gonna lie benny gilbert arenas has your number 
I mean, don't get me wrong, you're a great basketball player and everything, but two championships in about a million years is kind of insane. And every single time we see Gilbert Arenas in the playoffs, I already know it's over. We lose to them like every time. You know what? It's okay. We're just going to keep it pushing. Maybe Benny will find a change of scenery next offseason. He is on the last year of his contract, and Wally continues to get worse. Our big three has kind of just turned into a dynamic duo. And can y'all believe we're already headed into the 2010-2011 season? We started this in 1984. Also, I'm trying to record, edit, and upload all of this in one day, so wish me luck. Benny did it again, another MVP, and of course, the DPOY. 62 wins on the season made us the number one seed, and during the year, Benny signed an extension. We were also able to add Corey Maggette on a minimum. We have so many small forwards. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Cavs. We sweep them. Round two, it's going to be Boston, and we beat them in six. Next up, it's going to be Atlanta. Not a crazy team. I think we got this one. We should be going back to the finals. We're down two to one. We're tied up at two apiece after four games. We win game five, and they win game six, setting up another game seven. I feel like we've seen so many of these over the past few seasons. And unfortunately, we've seen quite a few game seven losses from our guy Benny over the past few seasons. It's another L for Benny Buckets. I wonder if Benny's gonna spend the rest of his career with the Toronto Raptors. I mean, he just signed another extension. He's been here since, what, 1999? And now we're in 2011. He might just be here for the long haul. We'll have to see. I kind of hope not, though, because this team looks like it's starting to fall off. Another season in the books. Benny Buckets putting up crazy numbers. 59 wins on the season makes us the number one seed. Will that matter? I guess we're about to find out. We beat Milwaukee in round one, and we lost in round two. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. A guy who's a 99 overall and is on a top-seeded team almost every year, barely ever winning championships. Like, it's actually insane. I just think the 2K simulation isn't messing with him or something. And now Paul Pierce is starting to regress. This team is looking bad. But the thing is, they're never going to be bad enough to be in the draft lottery. With Benny on the team, there's no way. But I feel like they kind of need to be in the draft lottery so they can get more talent. Or maybe they trade Pierce, get somebody different. I don't know. Something needs to change, though, because we've been losing in the playoffs a lot. Benny, another MVP and another DPOY. And we were the one seed with only 46 wins. The East was trash. Round number one, we got the Cavs. We beat them. Round two, we're probably about to lose to Philly, aren't we? We're headed to a game seven. Let's see if we can get the win. They got Ray Allen and Boogie as their duo. Interesting. Man, I wish Boogie Cousins was still out there hooping in the league. Unfortunately for him, we're about to drop him off real quick, but it, it sucks that Boogie's out the league now. Oh my goodness, the truth has been going crazy in these playoffs. He wants the ring. He's averaging more points than Benny. Benny's selling in the playoffs, by the way, but yeah, the truth's got his back. Next up, we got the Pacers with CP3 and Blake Griffin, like they're the Clippers. We're up three to two on them, and we beat them in six. We're back in the finals. Chance to win the chip. We got Houston, KG, Marc Gasol, and Stephon Marbury. Good team, but I don't think they're good enough to beat us. Game one is going to go to us. We also take game two and three, and we win. Let's go, Benny. Another finals MVP added to the resume. Another championship on the resume. Great stuff from Mr. Buckets. Shout out to the truth, too, by the way. He was out there going crazy in these NBA playoffs. And even though he played really well in the playoffs, they might start calling him the lie if he keeps regressing. I know the fall off's going to hit hard for him soon. And now Benny is not going to be playing alongside another 90 overall. He's just going to have more on his shoulders. Can he handle the pressure? I'm guessing he can't based on his track record. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Benny Buckets, another MVP. We had a great regular season this year. We ended up winning 56 games, making us the one seed once again. In round number one, we got Chicago. We started off down 2-1 came back next up we got the wizards don't tell me they got gilbert oh it's over it's over pack your bags y'all might as well not show up to the arena we're about to get cooked oh we actually won next up we got the Cavs, led by brandon roy and we're up three to one are we about to go back to back hold on i spoke too soon i spoke too soon we might just blow the three to one lead never mind we're going to the finals we've got a chance to go back to back 40 18 and 11 from benny buckets and in the finals we got the utah jazz with ad Kawhi, tyson chandler once ad and Kawhi really start progressing that team's gonna be even more of a problem than they are now 
game one of the series goes to us we also take game two jazz will win game three and four we're gonna take game five though and six benny buckets back to back all right maybe he can start a little championship streak late in his nba career i mean we still have until 2024 it's only 2014 right now if he really locks in he could do something special i mean 10 plus championships would be really good right and he has a chance to do that maybe not though oh my goodness this team is old we might need benny to put up 40 ppg this year another season in the book so let's see if we can complete this three p 49 wins made us the two seed this year in the first round we got the atlanta hawks we didn't even get a game on them well our hopes of a championship streak are over for now okay we might be back paul pierce is no longer on the team but instead we've got marcus saul and david west i like those pickups for the squad i think they could help us get a couple championships i'm excited another mvp and i'm really excited about this rejuvenated squad that we have 50 wins on the season is rejuvenated the right word i don't know give me a break man i've been recording for a minute round number one we take care of the hornets and now in round two we've got a game seven against the magic their best player is andrew bynum we better not lose it looks like we're good we're gonna move on all right we take care of them in game seven 32 and 12 from the new edition marcus Gasol. oh my goodness he's going crazy in these playoffs he might low-key be playing better than benny buckets next up we got the cleveland cavaliers Derek favors and ricky rubio are tied for the best player on the team i think we should be good with all due respect we're up three to two and we beat them in six we're back in the finals i told y'all this jazz team was going to be a problem we beat them last time we faced them but now they've got a reloaded roster game one of the series goes to utah we'll win game two and three and four they take game five and six all right utah is looking to come back from down three to one we don't want to allow them to do that they came back you've got to be kidding me benny buckets 19 points in game seven and the utah jazz are nba champions congrats to Kawhi. as we head into this upcoming season i don't really have a doubt that we'll be a contender once again we've just got to close out these series blowing a 3-1 is crazy we got to come back and win the championship this year another season in the books benny buckets wins mvp and dpoy as usual we were the one seed 52 wins round one we got philadelphia we're up three to two and we beat them in six next up we got the Cavs. we're up three to two once again and we beat them in six once again now we've got new york and we sweep them so just like that we're back in the finals we're taking on the nuggets led by dwight howard game one of the series goes to denver we'll take game two and three and four benny buckets wins another championship that's what i'm talking about benny is that five rings for mr buckets oh they got rid of one but he won one in 1993 i think once you simulate a certain amount of years stuff starts bugging out but yeah he won one in 1993 i remember so five championships since 1984 and i'm also gonna reset his age because i've been noticing the numbers dropping off all right we should be good to go now we just won a chip let's see if we can go back to back mr benjamin wins another their MVP we were the one seed once again 55 wins let's see if we can go back to back round one we take care of Indiana easily we got beat by Atlanta in round two 12 points in game seven Benny are you serious and after this series I was going through his player card and I saw that he's more than likely going to test his value in free agency once his contract is over with so we could see Mr. Buckets have one last change of scenery before this video ends now Benny does still have one more year left on his current deal but it seems like he's thinking about going elsewhere also welcome to the team jr and jamal we'll see if they can help benny win one more chip before he potentially leaves toronto season is wrapped benny buckets wins mvp i don't know why he's thinking about leaving toronto i feel like we got a good thing going here we won 60 games this year round number one we take care of atlanta round two we beat philly and the conference finals we beat orlando now we get to face utah again they've got it did y'all see isaiah thomas he's on the phoenix suns now i think he's supposed to make his debut today i hope he actually gets some pt game one of the series will go to utah utah also wins game two we take game three jazz win game four they beat us in five Kawhi wins finals mvp and after the l benny's hitting free agency oh well i guess it doesn't matter he decided to go back to the raptors anyway so welcome back to toronto benny we picked up raptors legend kyle lowry as well 
And just so they both can start, I'm going to slide Benny over to the power forward, which might sound weird, but we've got JR and Batum and Benny six foot nine. He'll be fine. Let's get to another season. I think we got a championship type team this year. Benny, another MVP. We won 64 games, making us the one seed. I think the Kyle Lowry pickup was really big for us. We almost lost in the first round after adding Lowry, but we do beat the Sixers. And next up, we got the Nets. We're going to beat them in five. Conference finals, it's Orlando. We beat them in five. And in the NBA, finals we got the Warriors led by the smoothest player in the league Paul George game one of the series is gonna go to us game two is gonna go to us Warriors win game three we win game four and we beat them in five not so smooth now huh Paul George Benny Buckets another NBA championship that is six rings on the resume again it doesn't show it but he won one in 1993 I remember all right Benny count this upcoming season you've got four more seasons to go to add as many championships to your resume as possible if you win every single ring you can reach double digit championships with 10 so let's see what you can do another season in the books benny buckets wins mvp we're used to that and we won 71 games this year a historical season in round number one we're going to be taking on the wizards we sweep them round two we're going to take care of orlando conference finals we got milwaukee and we beat them all right we're back in the finals chance to go back to back we're facing lynn sanity james harden and andre drummond game one of the series will go to us the pelicans win game two and three we'll take game four but the pelicans take game five and we win game six setting up a winner go home game seven and game seven is coming down to the wire so we gotta jump in currently we're sitting on a two-point lead with a minute 21 to go and the pelicans have the ball andre drummond is gonna give it in to james harden harden gets the screen james is going to the basket oh wow was that a bounce pass he gives it to Dragic. Dragic gives it over to jeremy lynn lynn gonna get the screen from drummond jeremy dumps it down to andre in the pick and roll and drummond's gonna dunk it home so now we are all tied up about a minute to go here let's see what you got benny oh he's bodying zach levine right now get in the post oh benny's gonna pop a midi and miss now the pelicans have the ball with this game all tied up i don't like this james harden gonna blow by batum step back in the mid-range and miss drummond the rebound gives it out to jeremy lynn lynn gets the screen from drummond lynn go into the basket he's gonna put up a floater and get it to go that andre drummond offensive rebound was a heartbreaker now lamb's bringing it up here for the raptors lamb gets the screen from batum lamb gonna give it to an open kyle lowry come on kyle that gives us a one point lead about 27 seconds to go here we are in desperate need of a stop right now ball's gonna go into james harden harden spins off of jr oh my goodness he's in his bag he gives it over to lynn lynn gives it right back harden bumps jr says you're too small and gets the layup to go and just like that, we are back down by a point. We need a bucket here. The ball should go to one man and one man only. Mr. Benny Buckets. Let's see what you got. Benny at the top of the key here. Benny going to swing it over to Lowry. Lowry puts up the left. You missed that? Kyle. Kyle, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Now we're going to have to play the foul game. It looks like we're going to be sending Jeremy Lin to the foul line. We still have time to get a shot off. We don't have any timeouts, though. And sometimes the 2K CPU is really stupid. And they just walk the ball up the court and then pull a dumb half court shot. So I really wish we had a timeout. Lin's going to knock down both free throws. So we need a three to force OT. Kyle Lowry bringing up the ball. Speed up. Run. We don't have time. You're pulling from the low go oh kyle kyle i owe you an apology i wasn't familiar with your game he he, he made that but kyle lowry big booty three-pointer we're headed to overtime bro there's no way he made that sorry if y'all heard a loud noise I, I slammed my controller on the desk i was shocked only in 2k would something like that happen man oh, oh my goodness i mean shout out to kyle you know great shot but that shot will mean nothing if we don't hoop in overtime so hopefully oh we got it we got it we're gonna win we're champions kyle lowry you deserve finals mvp just for that one shot but i know our guy benny's gonna win it another championship added to mr bucket's resume and he's still got a couple more years to go i think him and kyle lowry they got a good little one-two punch dynamic duo going and Benny's still got a couple more years to go. Kyle Lowry is getting older. So is Batum. So is JR. So Benny's going to have to go out there and really hoop at a high level this season. But I believe in him. He can do it. 
Benny Buckets, another MVP. He's played really well at the power forward position, and it works better for our team since we got Kyle Lowry at the point. You get the little pick and roll going and everything. Now this year, we did only win 48 games, but hey, we're in the playoffs, so we got a chance. Never mind. Solid playoff stats from Benny. Over 20 boards a night is nuts. But we lost in round one. Oh my goodness. We're about to head into our second to last season. And this summer, we got DeAndre Ayton and Otto Porter. I have a feeling we're about to have a championship season. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Season is wrapped. Benny Buckets, of course, wins MVP in DPOY. And we won 69 games this season, making us the one seed in the East. I really believe we're a championship team this year. I don't think there's anybody who can stop us. We got stopped. We lost in the second round. Nice try, Ben but we still lost all right we're about to head into the final season of this video benny's last chance to win one more chip for anybody keeping track he has seven right now so this will be a chance for number eight let's see what he can do last season is in the books and benny had to end it off the way he started with another mvp this year we won 57 games ended off the year on a 10 game win streak let's see if we can end this video off right with one last championship round number one we took take care of Brooklyn. Round two, we beat Indiana. We're down 3-1 against Philly in the conference finals. It's not looking good. They have Jamal Murray, Kyrie, and Boogie. Yeah, we lost in five. So Benny Bucket's 40-year NBA career is over. And I gotta show you all some of his accomplishments. It says here he only has 19 MVPs, but I would say it's somewhere in the 30s. He also won every single DPOY throughout this video. He won seven NBA championships. He also won nine finals MVPs. MVPs, I believe, because he won it in two years that he lost, if I'm remembering correctly. But where it really gets crazy is the records. Benny Buckets put up over 50,000 points. Now I'm almost 100% sure he put up more points than this, but I think that 2K cut him off at a certain point. He basically broke the game. So I was messing around trying to get some screenshots for the thumbnail, and I was thinking, man, I really want to know how many points Benny Buckets scored. So I did the math. I put his points per game average at about 27 because I thought that was pretty accurate he had some years where he averaged maybe like 20 and then somewhere he was like well over 30 so I thought 27 was a smooth estimate right I multiplied 27 points per game by 82 for the number of games in a season and then I also oh my goodness Giannis and then I multiplied that by 40 for the number of seasons Benny played ultimately all of those calculations gave me 88,560 points so it's safe to assume he scored over 80k points and he was somewhere around 10 assists a game for his career so that would have given him 32,800 assists and I would say he was around 15 rebounds a game for his career and that would give him 49,200 rebounds I thought y'all might be curious so I went ahead and did the math he was number one all-time in field goals made number nine all-time in threes made Number one in free throws, number one in rebounds, assists, blocks, steals, minutes, and turnovers. Basically, he was the greatest ever. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.